Hi there, my name is Jennifer Clark and I'm a customer education manager here at Miro. I love using the Miro app for Microsoft Teams and I figured you might be curious about how it works. I just led a workshop recently and I wanted to get some of my colleagues on a call to do a little retrospective and help me plan for the next workshop date. I asked Giovanni and Shipra to join me on a call and I pulled up a Miro board within the app to help get us started. I wanted us to share some feedback from the working team, pull in some feedback from our participants, align on some changes, and then get started with some improvements. I'll guide you through our retrospective, show you a few clips from our call, and mention some specific features, tips, or tricks you might like to try yourself. Jot down anything that's new to you and try it in MS Teams in your next meeting. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so first up, we're gonna collect some feedback from the working team. We'll use a template from the template library to get us organized, use the timer to keep us on track, and leverage some sticky notes to generate our ideas. Keep an eye out for each step. I don't know about you guys, but the first thing I like to do in a Miro board when reflecting is to just grab a template from the template library so that we can have like a bit of a prompt um, to get us started. Oh. So I'm just gonna go over here to the object menu and pull up a template. And I'm just going to type in retrospective and see what we can see. Okay, cool. I love the, the four L's. That's like one of my favorite um, templates. So I'm going to click use and add it to the board, the center, just like so. I'm going to make it extra large so we can all see it. So yeah, yes. Joe Shipra, if you could we can just start adding some stickies um, to this section and just kind of talk about what did we like, what was good about this workshop planning process and, and delivery process? What did we learn? Did we lack anything and, and what do we long for? Um, so when we're doing this, I'll go ahead and set a timer for us really quickly and put on some tunes so that we can have a few minutes to do this. Does that sound good to you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do I it. like smooth groove. Oh, you do? Okay, I'll pick that one. Oh, okay, okay, awesome. Okay, cool. Let's let's get going. since we know we're done and I can get it out of our way. Okay, cool. So it seems like we've got our own feedback. Um, I know that for me, something that I would have really liked to have more of were materials for the exercises at the end of the workshop. I think that we kind of ran a little short, people had to share. So I thought it would have been nice to have more of those. And then I really loved the venue that we selected this time. I thought it was absolutely beautiful and stunning and I got a lot of positive compliments about it at the workshop. Yeah, awesome. totally would agree. Yeah, what about you guys? What were like the two top things that kind of you took away from, from this workshop? Yeah, so um, I really took away or learned that folks really do love attending these kind of workshops to network with one another and really build connections. So building in more little moments where folks can have a chance to um, network with other workshop attendees, I think will be awesome going forward. What about you, Shipper? Yeah. I thought, yeah, I thought like we were like the agenda was really engaging and everyone was like super engaged with the board, but also with the physical stuff that we could do because we were at a venue uh, with like yoga breaks and things like that. Nice. So you all saw our group generate and talk through ideas about what went well and what we could improve in our next workshop. I think you'll find Miro makes it really easy for several people, people to enter their input at once for a collaborative retro. Next, we're gonna bring in some of that participant feedback to help us round out our understanding of the event. You'll see us take some feedback and do some affinity grouping to generate key themes. This section moves quick, so keep an eye out for an important time-saving tip from Joe. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So Joe, uh, I think you had pulled in some feedback from participants. Could you drop that into the mural board? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And actually, I don't know if you all have had a chance to like try this out just yet, but 
I actually have all the results here in a spreadsheet and I can take this spreadsheet, take the cells, copy them over and they actually paste as sticky notes onto the board. So boom, just like that. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, how cool. Oh my gosh. Great. Oh, okay. I love these pieces of feedback. Maybe we can... a bit more. Oh, go ahead, Jeff. Cool. I was just saying I had a bit more so I can add all this here. Oh, great. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, do we maybe... Let's do a little affinity, maybe. Oh, yeah. Group them. Anything sure. that... Yeah, just group them. Love it. Okay, so thanks, Joe. Now we've got some feedback and Shipper. Thanks for helping us get it organized. Great. Now we're really getting the hang of it. Once we've reviewed all of our feedback, it's time to start prioritizing as a group. You'll notice our familiar friends, stickies, the timer, and a template all make an appearance, but in a totally different context. If you haven't tried the dot template yet for a simple way to vote, you definitely should. Let's tune back in and see how it goes. Did you notice any themes from the feedback that we could like maybe prioritize here? Yeah, absolutely. So I think you already called one out, like the venue. Um, that was something that folks called out. Kind of the agenda and activities down here. I can add a sticky note there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and what about it? So about the venue, it seems like, yeah, even the people really enjoy it, we should try and do it again. Um, it seems like they um, were a bit lost. You know? Oh, right. Um, Saw that note about wanting a map. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the breakout rooms were difficult to find. Um, and then it, I, I feel like it's similar with the agenda where it's just kind of also like kind of for them knowing, knowing what was coming up would have been helpful. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, pretty workshop. Yeah. Okay, love it. And I think we could probably group more food into that as well, like planning ahead yeah. before the workshop. Yeah. Just planning ahead. Totally. Love it. Um, and then maybe like engagement network. or like the networking piece and whatnot. Yeah. Absolutely. And like, how might we amp that up next time since people love loved it so much? Yeah. Okay, networking. Okay. So how about what I can do is just write out some how might we statements based on what we see here. Oh, there you go. Perfect. And then um, while I'm do while we're doing that, um, maybe Jen, could you help us get some dot voting stickers onto the board? Of course. Um, yeah. We're just gonna go to the and template so library to find that one. And it's in the building block section for anyone who doesn't know the dot voting uh, right Thanks. here. We can just grab those and place them on the board. And I'll uh, move them over so that they're a little bit bigger. I kind of feel like we should have like food as its own thing almost. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it was such a popular comment. Like I totally agree. Yeah reevaluate food options. Okay. I'll go ahead and label these dots then um, for each of us so we can vote. Okay. We can delete the other ones that we don't end up using. See, I can help with that. Thanks, Joe. This is the thing I love about Miro is that we can all kind of yeah. do things at the same time. Right? So convenient. So convenient. So how about we just take maybe a minute, um, just like go back to some other things we wrote before if you need to, but let's pick, let's each pick two things. Um, so take two dots and like just pick two things that you think we should focus on just because we, we're not gonna be able to get everything done next time. Absolutely. Love that. Okay. All right. I'll start our timer. Let's do music. Yeah, yeah sure. Awesome. Thanks. I'll do a chill beats, that's my favorite.
Perfect. Cool. Okay. Right. Um, so it looks like we should definitely amp up networking next time. So I'm going to copy that sticky over. Um, and then there's, yeah, as usual, there's always like votes that are distributed. But yeah. here's what I'll say, Jen, since you own this event, uh, uh, you can kind of decide what else you think we should work on there. Yeah, I love it. Maybe one yeah. more thing. You know, I think that the food was such a big comment that I really want to make sure we get that right next time because with some of these other things, we may have time to get to them, but food is going to take a little bit more effort, a little bit more time working with some vendors and partners. So I think that I, I would vote for this one. We've nearly reached the end of our retro. The group has aligned on two priorities before the next workshop and we're ready to bring it home. In this last section, you're going to see the humble sticky transform into something much more powerful, the card. The card in Mural allows you to add a lot more detail, assign an owner and a due date, and work with some of the task trackers you likely already use. Let's return to our retrospective one last time to see it in action. It seems like we need to kind of turn these into some sort of action item so that we all walk away feeling like really confident about what we're going to do next. So um, mm -hmm. I think that maybe like another way to put this like amp up networking next time, I think we need to have a brainstorm about what that could look like. So I'll just turn this into like schedule a uh, brainstorm about expanding like networking and, and how can we enhance that experience? That sounds about fair. That. Yeah. Yeah. And then for food options, I think we need to like meet again with the caterer to explore like what's possible. That seems like a good next step. Yeah. So I don't know if you all have ever tried this before, but you can actually turn sticky notes into cards that give people like, get, you can assign things to people and you can give them a due date. Did you know that you could do this in Miro? No, that's, that sounds cool. I know, yeah. Let me, yeah. actually Joe, if you wouldn't mind helping me schedule the brainstorm, I would be so grateful. Can I go ahead and give this one to you? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. great. So all I'm gonna do is click on that sticky note. I'm gonna go all the way to the left to the type, right over here, switch type. And I'm just going to switch it to the card, which looks like a little square with some text inside. And it just changed its style. And then I can expand it. And just some things you need to know is that our next workshop is in November. So I feel like you need to know that, you know, to schedule it in a timely fashion. And, you know, please include Jen, Shipra, and Joe in the next one. Great. Okay, so I'll go ahead and assign it to you pull you up in the roster and then give you a due date and we'll try to get this done by next week if that's okay yeah wonderful okay thanks joe okay great um you know i think that we're almost out of time for the meeting but i'm really pleased with how far we got um with the session so shipper joe thank you so much for helping me transform some feedback around this workshop and take it to the next level. I really, I'm really grateful for all of your help today. And that's a wrap. Hopefully this tiny film gave you some quick inspiration for how to use Miro for your next workshop or brainstorm or anything else you have coming up that needs some powerful collaboration. Head to Miro.com slash works with Microsoft to learn more about how to deepen your experience with Miro. Enjoy the conference. Mm -hmm.